Take a strip of paper, give it a half twist and then tape the ends together. The result is a Mobius band, a shape that has only one side. It's one of the most intriguing objects in mathematics, simple in appearance, yet with complex properties that have kept theorists busy for more than a century. One of the most challenging puzzles seems deceptively straightforward. How small can a Mobius band get before it intersects itself? In 1977, mathematicians Charles Weaver and Benjamin Holpern first posed this conundrum, and mathematicians have been trying to solve it ever since. Now, Richard Schwartz, a mathematician at Brown University, claims he's found the answer. The Mobius band has a non-orientable surface. In everyday terms, this means if you were an ant crawling on the surface, you wouldn't be able to distinguish one side from another. If you take a pencil and draw a line along the centre of the band, you'll notice that the line runs along both sides of the loop. German mathematicians August Ferdinand Mobius and Johann Benedict Listing independently discovered it in 1858. While Mobius got the naming rights, both men were drawn to its peculiar property, its unending surface. Engineers and scientists find the Mobius band fascinating for practical reasons. For instance, conveyor belts designed as a Mobius band distribute wear and tear uniformly, lasting twice as long as conventional conveyor belts. Moritz Escher, the famed graphic artist, used the shape in his woodcut Mobius Strip 2, where ants interlock and traverse the one-sided surface. Even the ubiquitous recycling symbol found printed on the backs of aluminium cans and plastic bottles is essentially a Mobius band. While the visual appeal of the band is undeniable, its most significant impact has been in mathematics. Among its many contributions, the introduction of the Mobius band has revolutionized the field of topology, which studies the properties of objects that are preserved when bent, stretched or twisted, without cutting or gluing parts together. But it's not topology that intrigued Schwartz. He first heard about the minimum Mobius band problem four years ago and has been hooked ever since. His efforts to untangle the Holpern-Weaver conjecture finally paid off. He found that the perfect Mobius band should have an aspect ratio greater than root 3, approximately 1.73. In layman's terms, a band that's 1 cm wide must be more than 1.73 cm long, otherwise the structure will collapse. The path to discovery wasn't straightforward. Schwartz sliced, examined and even flattened Mobius bands in his quest. As he grappled with the problem, he employed various strategies over the years, but the breakthrough came when he revisited a past error, a minor misidentification of a shape, and everything clicked from there. The corrected calculation, to Schwartz's astonishment, gave him the number that was the conjecture. However, as is often the case in mathematics, solving one problem opens the door to solving another. There's no limit, mathematically speaking, to how long a Mobius band can be, but the next problem on Schwartz's agenda is to find the shortest strip of paper that can be used to make a Mobius band with three twists instead of just one.